Hello, I'm Ebony Manta, and I'm about to play an indie game called Larva Mortis. Uh, ignore that tally there, I'll explain later. Anyway, the player, who for role-playing purposes I have named Marcus, is a part of an organization dedicated to seeking out otherworldly threats and eliminating them with some good old-fashioned 19th century firepower. Of course, I'll be gathering various other gadgets and improbable armaments along the way, and some magical artifacts that'll help boost our stats and such. Now first, we check out our base, including our equipment. Of course, thanks to some quirks and with how this game handles data, I've picked up all the uh, equipment improvements from my previous games, even though I haven't actually collected them in this game. I, I tried to get rid of it by deleting the local content, but it doesn't look like it worked. And I've got all the trophies, too. It's really not a big deal. The trophies really just give you points and you can collect them again. The equipment bonuses, on the other hand, those will uh, well, those will make, make it easier, which isn't what I want, but we'll manage. Let's see... which one of these to do first. Looks like they're both the same type, so it won't matter. I uh, can't assign stats yet. Uh... I'm looking for a challenge. I like challenge. Let's do the hard one first. Now, some action. Let's see, excuse me while I smash some crates. In the vain hope of getting some kind of items. Anyway, this is a Save the Lost Souls mission, where we must find these poor souls and save them from the monsters. Like this one right here. Ow. Gotta be careful, because they, uh... As I just mentioned, they can be killed. But they seem to have a bit of health and... Ooh, a bonus. Double points. Always good. Points are experience. Points are life. I'll let that explain. Ooh, health. I needed that. And there's our bonuses and explanation of the various features and the bonuses. I never really got Berserk, though. It, it says it increases melee damage, but if it's talking about the stat, then that increases melee damage when you touch enemies or when they touch you, and I don't want that to happen. Especially when the difficulty is on hard, when I can barely afford to take any hits, and doing damage to enemies when they hit me is little more than a consolation prize at best. Anyway, I've just found a key, but I need the bronze key, so we're gonna have to go elsewhere. Ooh, boilers! Ah, ow! Fire! And there's the key. And watch out for those things. Throw projectiles at me. Fun with boilers! Ow! Okay, that, that was kind of close there. There's Berserk, my least favorite power-up. I, I could use some health, but these barrels aren't giving me any. And off we go. Switch the claymore here to save ammo. Ow. Yes, level up. At last. Now we must allocate our stats. We get two skill bonuses the first level up, and one after each subsequent level up. Let's see. Definitely want constitution the first time. Not sure what else. Walk speed's pretty good. There's not a whole lot that's actually useful. At least in my opinion. Constitution, regeneration, and walk speed are the ones for me. And I'm holding off on regeneration for role-playing purposes. Not much further to go. Just three more rooms, as you can see in the map in the lower right. And I, I like... I could just skip through this, but I like to clear out all the rooms. Ooh, double points. You know, using the pistol really isn't necessary. I can just go up and hack the... hack these guys like so. Yay, finally, health. Bats. Now, now the bats you want to take out with range, since getting close to them without... Uh, ah! Getting close to them without getting hurt is a little tricky. And now the last room. And those last two lost souls. Yeah. 
Uh, let's get take care of those enemies before bailing out, even though I could just do that. Could just go into the portal and end the mission. Don't think the pistol's working. Okay, that whispering. That's... well, I'll explain that in a moment. Anyway, we have just completed our first mission. Now, what next? And no more stat levels. We need to... still need to be level 2 to do the next mission, so I'm gonna have to find another mission. Excuse me a moment. Now, our next mission. For now, I think we're gonna go for Defeat the Monster Champions, in which there are several sub-bosses scattered throughout the area, and we're gonna have to go and take out each and every one of them. It's dark this time. Thankfully, we've got a flashlight. Somehow. Ah, spiders! Thankfully, they're not that hard to deal with if you have a sword. And stay away, because they poison you if you hit you, which reduces your speed. Okay, this is a fun one. We are now trapped in this room until we defeat all the enemies here. And once we defeat this batch, then a new wave will approach. Sometimes in missions like this, the final wave will consist of the boss monster or the sub-boss monster. Watch out, they like to teleport right on top of you. Two bonuses, extra armor and extra ammo. Extra armor makes you invincible, extra ammo makes it so your current clip never runs out of ammo. Pardon me, just checking out the wall ornamentation. Ah, the monster champions, or some of them at least. Monster champions are stronger versions of enemies, and usually enemies that are slightly above our current level, like these flaming skeletons, which we otherwise wouldn't encounter quite yet. That particular batch wasn't too hard to deal with. The others should be the same. As you can see, sometimes they appear in groups, or other times they appear alone. Whoa, a sliding trap. We have to walk carefully here, these things hurt. Good thing about these is that they tend to kill off any enemies in the room. Like so makes our job a lot easier. Whoa! As you can see, weird phenomena tend to happen on these missions, including auditory and visual hallucinations like the one we've just seen. Four champions. This might take some dynamite. Take this. Dynamite is Larva Mortis' version of a grenade. A dramatic grenade, no less. Since, as you may have noticed, time slowed down when I threw it. Just as a side note, you can throw dynamite whether you're paused or not. So make sure to not press spacebar while you're trying to allocate your stats. And that's that. I don't ever recall encountering four champions at the same time before, but I think it went rather well in spite of that. Speaking of stat allocation, let's see. Uh, let's see if melee combat has any noticeable effect. Maybe if I'm lucky it'll increase my claymore damage. Now. Back to the mission screen. We've got even more missions. For every mission you complete, another two or three spring up in its place, so you can never completely rid the world of monsters. Fortunately, over time this will provide us with quite a few different options for missions, provided you play the game long enough, because it resets every time you log off. And then when you log back into the game you'll find yourself with two or three new missions, and only those missions, plus the mission you have to do for the main storyline. Speaking of which, on the next video, our first story mission.